Okay, uh, welcome to the um, admission talk of the dual undergraduate degree program uh, between the Chinese University of Hong Kong and uh, Tsinghua University. So uh, hopefully uh, after today's presentation, uh, you all will have a better understanding of the program structure, uh, the career prospects, uh, and other specifics you know, of the exciting dual undergraduate degree program. So uh, most of you should know the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Uh, we are one of the best universities in Asia. Uh, and you know, here we, are, we have some uh, photos you know, of some of the nice scenery around our campus. Uh, if you have time, you know, feel free to explore around our campus. So in terms of history, uh, the Chinese University of Hong Kong was established in 1963, and we are a comprehensive research university. Research is at the heart you know, of the university. And as you'll be seeing later, the Department of Economics at the Chinese University of Hong Kong is extremely active in its research uh, in relation with uh, all aspects of the Chinese economy. So uh, one of the uh, goal of our university is to combine tradition with uh, modernity to bring together China and the West. Currently, we have eight faculties, arts, business administration, education, engineering, law, medicine, science, and social science. The Department of Economics belongs to the Faculty of Social Science, and there are good reasons for it. Um, here, you know, our program aims you know, to give students a much more comprehensive coverage of the application of economics. Uh, we'll cover things like policies, you know, business, uh, also anything got to do with uh, the global economy too. At the same time, you know, the university now has nine colleges, okay? Chongqi, uh, CW2, et cetera. Okay? Now, uh, let me just give uh, a very brief introduction to the department of the Department of Economics here at the CHK. Most of our faculty members uh, receive their graduate training from uh, probably the top universities around the world. And so uh, you can see a list here. Uh, in terms of research output, our teachers have published in all of the top five academic journals in economics. So uh, you know, this is a very strong sign you know, that we are very research active. In terms of our strengths in research, these are the areas uh, that our faculty members are specializing. Okay. Uh, Chinese economy, which is uh, one of our top uh, research performer uh, in one of the rankings, you know, uh, available rankings on the fields, you know, of economic research, uh, our department is ranked among the top three in the world okay, for our research in the Chinese economy. Okay. We are also very active in labor economics, macroeconomics, trade and development. Tsinghua University, uh, many of you may not have visited Tsinghua University, but here uh, I have some photos uh, to share with uh, you all. You know, uh, these are all very historical buildings of Tsinghua University, uh, the auditorium, the old gate, etc. Now, uh, Tsinghua University has over 100 years of history, uh, situated in the northwest of Beijing. And again, it is also a comprehensive research university. Uh, it is, you know, probably uh, among the top, you know, university in uh, mainland China. Currently has 21 schools with 59 departments uh, in, 10, in 11 different subjects. Now, let me go straight you know, to the core of today's presentation, the specifics of our DDP program. The, this DDP program will last for four years. The students are expected or will have to spend two years in CHK and two years in Tsinghua University. Now, how these four years are distributed will be something I'll tell you in a second. Okay? And our program is conducted entirely in English. And uh, we already you know, are having uh, our second cohort, you know, our first cohort of students, uh, we admitted them last year. So we are now, uh, we have admitted only our second cohort. And uh, the intake quota for this program is 24, all right? And we don't set any uh, hard you know, limits on the number of uh, local students, uh, mainland students, 
uh, and uh, international students. There's no hard quota. All right. So some students, you know, ask uh, asked this question last year, but um, this year we don't have any hard quota. Now, if you have successfully completed all the requirements by both universities, and let me stress, you know, this that you have to complete the requirements of both universities to complete this DDP program, then uh, you receive the Bachelor of Social Science in Economics from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and also the Bachelor of Economics from Tsinghua University. Okay. So this is a double uh, dual undergraduate degree program. So uh, who are the prospective students? Uh, so uh, this is a list. So uh, you can take a look and see uh, whether you belong to any of these category. Okay. So for Hong Kong students, you know, we're looking for JUPAS uh, students you know, who will do their DSE exam uh, in 2023 and also non jupas students. Uh, and for Hong Kong students, um, you're classified you know, based on having Hong Kong identity card plus the mainland travel permit. Okay. Right. Okay. Macau students are current graduates from Macau High School in the current academic year, okay. international students and mainland students. All right. So if you are not sure whether you are eligible to apply for this program, you're always welcome to email our program assistant, Ms. Collie Lee, who is also with us right now. Uh, we'll give you the email address and uh, she will help you uh, to decide uh, to uh, check things out. Now, um, you know, CHK and Tsinghua University are among the top universities in the world, currently in the QS World University ranking in terms of subjects, uh, in terms of the subject of economics and econometrics, CHK is ranked seventh in Asia, Tsinghua University is ranked fourth in Asia. Okay? And both places, you know, we are among the top 50 in the world for our research in economics and econometrics. And, you know, we have a partial list you know, of the uh, highlights, you know, of this dual undergraduate degree program. Number one, uh, students will receive two of the most prestigious bachelor degrees in Asia. Okay. We also aim to give students the best economic training in Asia. Okay. So uh, one uh, important career prospect you know, that we want to nurture our students to pursue further studies okay, and, to pursue, and to pursue further studies in economics, uh, one would need very, very rigorous, uh, very, very demanding learning experience as an undergraduate student. And this is what we are aiming to provide uh, through this dual undergraduate degree program. Okay. Uh, we also aim to nurture students with perspectives in both China and, uh, uh, and uh, at the international level too. Another important highlight you know, of this program is that students will have access to two different markets, and I mean job markets, you know, for those you know, who might not be uh, interested in pursuing further study after their undergraduate education. Uh, those who are interested in uh, pursuing a career, then uh, you have the, uh, uh, the Beijing job market and also the Hong Kong job market uh, as a result of doing this dual undergraduate degree program. And at the same time, uh, by virtue of the fact, you know, that you'll be studying in two different universities, you have access to two alumni networks. Okay. So again, you know, this is a uh, list, you know, this is a description of the aims you know, of this program, uh, enabling students to pursue two degrees in uh, and experience two very distinct academic atmospheres in the best universities in Asia, combine the strengths of two of the best economics department in Asia and, uh, and receive a comprehensive and all round training in economics. So this is important. Um, no you know, single department alone will uh, offer all you know, kinds you know, of uh, economic courses, uh, but you know, with two universities, two academic departments, uh, the training, the selection of courses uh, will be much more wide and uh, comprehensive. Okay. Um, this dual undergraduate degree program, again, you know, uh, will offer very in-depth knowledge of many important international economic issues, and in particular, uh, the booming, the ever more important Chinese economy. Okay. And also, you know, we nurture our students to receive the uh, necessary analytical tools uh, to launch virtually any career uh, related to the Chinese economy and financial markets. Now, 
how would you distribute the four year of study right, for this dual undergraduate degree program? So we're offering students two options, okay? option A, option B. Now for both options, you'll be spending the first year and a half at CUHK, all right? So during these uh, year and a half, okay, students will receive the basic foundation training in economic science right, and also math and statistics. Then for students who opt for option A, they will transition to Tsinghua University for a year and a half, continue with their studies. Okay. Now in the final year, the pattern goes like this. In the final year, for the first half of the academic year, students will come back to CHK. Okay. Then for the second half of the final academic year, this is year four, students will return to Tsinghua University and complete the remaining courses needed for graduation. This option, option A, will be ideal for those okay, who want to start their career uh, in, um, uh, in Hong Kong, for example. Okay. But depending you know, on uh, how your job application would go. Yeah. So, for example, if students you know want to start, if if students want to work immediately okay, after the final semester of the final year at Tsinghua University, then they can uh, they can pick option A. Okay. Option B, however, okay, after the first year and a half at UHK, students will spend two years at Tsinghua University completing all the requirements okay, at Tsinghua University. Then in the final semester, okay, students will come back to CHK and finish the remaining courses. Okay. And again, you know, depending on your taste, you know, for job application, sometimes you know we have job uh, fairs, you know, uh, job recruitment events happening in the first half of the uh, final academic year. So depending on uh, your you know decision of uh, how to uh, participate and uh, these are the two possible options now you don't have to tell us you know uh, which option you want to go for during your application okay students who are admitted to this dual undergraduate degree program you know will be asked to pick the option at the beginning of the first academic year all right okay but just to let you know, you know that uh, there are these uh, two possible uh, study patterns. All right. Now, um, economics, you know, to be a good economist, one would need strong theoretical uh, foundation, right? Also, you know, very strong mathematical skills and statistical knowledge. And through you know these three students will develop important quantitative skills and uh, economic modeling skills. So that's uh, the purpose you know of designing of having this dual undergraduate degree program. And uh, it will take me probably more than a few hours you know to talk about the entire DDP curriculum. Uh, but if you are interested to see the selection of courses, uh, the exact courses to take in each academic year. Uh, then you're welcome to scan this QR code and take or, or click this link uh, to look at our DDP curriculum. Okay, so uh, you know our goal uh, is to develop uh, students' ability for the pursuit you know of careers in uh, banking, finance, commercial, consulting, and government, etc. And let me remind uh, all our prospective candidates again that students are required to fulfill the dual undergraduate degree program requirements of both CHK and Tsinghua University, okay? If you just complete uh, part of it, you're not gonna get the two degrees. All right. Admission scholarships. So, uh, you know, these are awarded uh, on the basis of excellent academic performance. So uh, if you happen to have excellent secondary school, uh, public examination performance, then uh, you uh, will be uh, considered, you know, for admission scholarships. 
and the um, the uh, the amount of the award you know, ranges from five thousand Hong Kong dollars to a full tuition coverage. Um, there's no need to make separate application for these admission scholarships. Uh, we will identify uh, qualified new students, uh, and uh, these admission scholarships are renewable. Okay, so uh, if you continue to perform well during the first year, during the second year of your undergraduate study, you will continue receiving and you will be continue to be considered, you know, uh, receiving these academic admission scholarship. Okay. Some, you know, some very prestigious you know, admission scholarship will also include an allowance of up to 45,000 Hong Kong dollars per year. So these will be, uh, uh, these are very competitive. So uh, for more information about admission scholarships at CHK, feel free to click uh, the link uh, below here. So other than uh, lectures, tutorials, okay, what are the other possible academic events at the CHK Department of Economics? So for example, you know, we do host regular academic conferences. Uh, so several years ago, we hosted one of the most prestigious academic events in economics, the Asian Meeting of the Econometric Society. Uh, over 1,000 scholars came to CHK and present their research. Uh, we also occasionally would invite uh, very distinguished academics uh, in economics to present their latest uh, research to us. For example, we had Professor James Heckman, you know, who uh, received the Nobel Prize in Economics in the year 2000, and, and also Professor Peter Diamond, uh, 2010 Nobel winner in Economics. Uh, they came here and uh, gave us uh, presentations, you know, on uh, various aspects of economics. Uh, we also, you know, host public talks featuring industry professionals. So, for example, here we have the uh, chief economist of the Asian Development Bank, uh, and also, you know, uh, representatives, you know, from uh, very important Hong Kong um, industries, you know, to uh, give us a uh, uh, presentation on the global macroeconomic outlooks. So in addition you know, to these events, you know, we also hold workshops, okay? workshops on econometrics, workshops on uh, various aspects of economics, uh, allowing students to see the latest research of important scholars in these areas. Okay. Now, um, Students, you know, will also be uh, expected to present, you know, their findings uh, to uh, prospective visitors. And this Department of Economics, you know, also have we also have a mentorship program. Uh, here we try to link our students with uh, our alumni uh, of, uh, uh, you know, of our um, undergraduate degree program. So, for example, here, you know, we have uh, Mr. Francis uh, in the middle uh, who graduated. Uh, in uh, economics in CHK uh, in the early 1980s. Uh, so he, uh, he he's a banker, if I remember correctly. So uh, students who are interested in developing a career in banking uh, will find the advice from him enormously useful. Now, another very special feature here of the uh, CHK economics department is that we have our own career office. Okay. The career office you know, is headed by our career officer, and uh, he does you know, provide uh, very specific individual uh, career advice. And in addition, uh, we also have you know, these career events ranging from uh, personal development workshops, recruitment talks, company visits, uh, to skills training workshops. For example, here uh, we do host, we do have uh, provide uh, training on how to manipulate, how to uh, manage the Bloomberg Terminal. Bloomberg Terminal is one of the most sophisticated financial technology we have um, in the world. So uh, uh, normally, you know, when you see news, when you watch news, when you see these uh, traders in the stock market, you know, handling many computer screens, uh, chances are they are handling the Bloomberg Terminal. This is not something you can download, you know, from the internet. You know, these are very, very expensive uh, installations. Uh, and 
uh, our department you know has several of these Bloomberg terminal uh, so what's the purpose of these terminal these uh, terminal have the latest financial data so real-time data uh, on uh, listed companies around the world and also allow uh, users to simulate trading for example uh, as one of the users of this terminal as you can see you know the com the keyboard you know for the Bloomberg terminal look uh, looks very different from uh, what you typically use on your laptop so again you, these are not something these are not something you can download from the internet and okay? these are very specialized and expensive machine and um, we uh, do you know organize skills training workshops uh, teaching our students how to use these machines to prepare their career in uh, finance better okay. right. at the same time you know all of our admitted students for this dual degree program uh, will be invited to become a part-time junior research assistant uh, working in one of the research institutes or research centers uh, of the CHK Department of Economics. Okay. So for example, um, in our current academic year, uh, virtually all of our admitted students you know, are uh, part-time junior research assistant you know at the uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong Tsinghua University Joint Research Center for Chinese Economy so the purpose you know is to get students to gain good useful research experience uh, under the supervision of our teachers and that this will help them tremendously you know on the, uh, as a way of paving the career uh, students you know will be allowed to put that part on their CV uh, and um, and learn you know from the teachers you know, by experience okay so as i have already emphasized you know this dual degree program aims to nurture students to do well in all career destination uh in particular further studies okay so uh further studies you know has uh, become more and more important in the world when uh, uh companies demand you know more and more uh skills you know from uh, the candidates now, uh, there's some specific information uh, on uh, admissions for Hong Kong JUPAS applicants. Okay. So the minimum requirement uh, for our JUPAS applicants are what I have on this slide, right? So to apply, you know, for this program uh, through JUPAS, the code is JS4824, which is the same code, you know, with our regular four-year local economics program so these are the uh, this is the minimum requirement five okay in the compulsory part of mathematics five in english language four in any two electives except m1 and m2 okay, so notice you know here m1 and m2 are not counted as uh, the two electives four in Chinese language and four in liberal study. These are the minimum requirements. Okay. And to compute, you know, your, uh, your score based on your DSE performance, we do use the best five part formula. Um, and uh, in which, you know, we count the scores of the best five subjects and we put additional weight on the, uh, on your performance in mathematics and uh, additional weights, you know, for uh, the best uh, course, you know, the best grade out of these five possible subjects, you know, M1, M2 in math, chemistry, economics, and physics, All right? So uh, math and any one of these five will be given a 1.5 weighting. And uh, you all know, you know, how to convert, you know, your DSC score into a score, uh, DSC grade into a score, okay? So uh, that's how we compute your admission score. Okay, so students, you know, who manage, you know, to meet the minimum requirement will be invited for an interview. The interview will be conducted by, you know, teachers uh, from both the CHK and Tsinghua University. Very often, you know, we have students asking us, you know, what, what are we looking for? What kind of questions, you know, are we, uh, do we ask in these interviews? Well, basically, you know, we're looking for students with a good sense of logic, 
we're looking for students, you know, who have uh, very unique views about the world, i.e. they can think out of the box, you know, they're not easily influenced uh, by what the media is telling them. Most importantly, we want to have students who are curious. Economics is social science. Social science is about studying human behavior. So we want students okay, who, you know, do demonstrate a strong sense of curiosity, of understanding, you know, how things, you know, are functioning in a society. Now, there are some important deadlines, you know, for JUPAS applicants. Uh, December the 7th is the submission deadline of JUPAS applications. Okay. And on May uh, 31st of next year, this is 2023, uh, this is the deadline of you updating your program choices before the release of the DSE results, okay? And professionally, July the 19th is the day when you receive your HK DSE results, okay? And then the next three days, 19th to 22nd of July, you will be allowed to modify your program choices. And according to the rules of the university, we are unable to provide any advice to you in relation to program selection during these few days. All right. So don't ask us any questions during these four, uh, two days, you know, about program choices. Once you know you have uh, decided your program choices, then um, August the 9th will be uh, the day of you receiving your first round JUPAS offer results. Okay. Now, you know, usually you know, during that month, okay, by the uh, middle of that month, we will conduct you know, the uh, joint interview. Okay. Joint interview by CHK and Chiang Mai University. So students, you know, who apply, you know, to this DDP program, uh, because you know we use the same program code with our four-year local economics program, and uh, students, you know, who are not considered, you know, for this DDP program, uh, will return to the uh, four-year local economics program. All right. Now, for non jupiter students, Macau, Taiwan, international students, uh, what would be uh, the specifics? Okay. Now, for these applicants, if you put us as the first choice in your program selection, okay, you you know we'll uh, we'll prioritize. You know, you, uh, we'll um, we'll put you you know at the uh, uh, for higher priority in our consideration. The program code is ECOTU. Right. Now, what are the major exam qualifications you know, that we uh, consider? So uh, we have a list here, IB, GCE, uh, advanced level, okay. and all these other public examinations. Okay, so here I have a QR code. Uh, if you want to know uh, in more detail, uh, the university's requirements on non jupas uh, qualifications. Okay. And again, you know, applicants okay, will be primarily considered, you know, for the dual degree program. And uh, at the same time, will also be considered for our regular four year local economics program. Okay. So again, these are the important dates uh, for our non jupas applicants and international, as well as international applicants. So uh, for Hong Kong non jupas applicants, Macau and Taiwan applicants, you apply through CHK. Okay. And the application deadline is January the 5th, not long from now. Okay. And you know, for applicants in this category, the first round interview will be done by late February of 2023. Okay. So the interview date is a little different, you know, uh, 
compared with our Drupal's update. Late February, 2023. Admission results will be released you know, uh, from March through August. Okay. For Macau and Taiwan students uh, from March to late July. Now for international applicants, you can apply you know, through CHK or Tsinghua University. You don't need to make application to both places. One of the two will be enough. And the deadline for application is January the 5th. Okay. If you apply through CHK, if you apply through Tsinghua University, uh, it will be April, uh, through, uh, April the 10th. Okay. And joint interview will be conducted uh, as early as uh, early March. Okay. And admission results will be released uh, till July 2023. All right, so these are very important dates okay, for these two groups of applicants. Tuition fees, uh, these are standard Hong Kong local students, $42,100. Macau Taiwan international students, 174,000 Hong Kong dollars per year. Right? And uh, for mainland students uh, who you know, are doing Gao Kao, the um, public examination for secondary school students in mainland China, uh, the tuition fee, please uh, look at you know, what, uh, the website, the information from Tsinghua University. So if you have any questions you know, about this dual undergraduate degree program, uh, feel free you know, to uh, call you know, our program office, uh, email our program office, you know, or you can click on the link uh, to look uh, for information you need. Uh, and if you want to see more about uh, Tsinghua University, we have this link too. Okay. If you're interested in knowing the latest developments of the exciting activities at the CHK Economics Department. Uh, we have a Facebook website. Uh, we have our Instagram page also. Okay. 